Steve Harvey, down here in Hollandale, Florida at the Guitar Center. Doing a workshop today, cigar box guitars, featuring the Lace new cigar box guitar. And uh, here we are at the Guitar Center. They've got me set up back here. Walk back here, see where they're going to set me up over by the acoustic instruments. So I'm just setting up, getting ready for my workshop. Talk about the cigar box guitar and how it could really make you a better guitar player in many ways. And here we are, thanks to Lace Musical Products, which now got cigar box guitars in Guitar Center, which is gonna make these, make the industry go nuclear. So here you go. And we're gonna reset this whole area up over here, move this stuff out of the way some inventory and let's get started. and this is the new lace guitar that we have uh, the cigar box guitars that are all in the cigar uh, guitar centers all over the United States right now and um, finally we can just go into a store and get one of these quality quality instruments I'll go over a little bit of the construction of them in, in a while and some of the other other fine features uh, the number one thing everybody always asks is what's the big deal about cigar box guitars is it just like a gimmick is it just a novelty? No. Um, this this plays a very this instrument plays a very important part in musical history in the United States, not just with the blues musicians, but also with um, a bluegrass Appalachian country artists. See, we can look on the walls here and we can see guitars, and um, they're reasonably priced. You you take a, a, a guitar like a Martin in 1915, 1920, a Martin or a Gibson, they were really expensive. Guitars were really expensive at that time. Now it's, it's much easier, uh, economically speaking, in our times to get a, a, a guitar for three or $400 to start. But a lot of those blues guys couldn't afford that or some of the bluegrass Appalachian country musicians. So what they would do is they would take a cigar box and they would take put some strings on it. So you would have uh, a neck, sometimes you have six strings, sometimes four, uh, three, sometimes even one or two strings. So uh, there were a lot of them around. You don't see a lot of pictures of them because most of the, the record companies, when they would photograph somebody, they want to show them in a nice suit and with a, a, you know, a nice Martin or Gibson guitar. <laughs> so uh, these were very important. Well, I keep going down that big road by myself. Few things about the cigar box guitar. Number one, um, I've been playing them for about 20 years, and I still play. I've, I have a wide variety of guitars, uh, you know, Fenders and Gibsons and all that, but for for myself for concert settings and for myself coming up with with new musical ideas it's really good all of a sudden to strip yourself down to just three strings because when you're playing with three strings instead of six all of a sudden you're finding yourself in a situation where you have to think more going up the neck and you're pretty much working on either the lower part of the of the three strings or in the case of the four string cigar box guitar you're doing the the top four strings because you can also uh, tune that as a tenor guitar or like a ukulele so pretty much by having the 
you know, guitar that, that's with three strings, it really makes you think a lot more about, about playing. And when you, when you do go to a regular guitar, all of a sudden you're, you're off playing a lot faster, you're finding new, newer, newer avenues. You know, for me, guitar playing is always like boxes, uh, how do I get from point G all the way to point G and, and come up with some nice phrasing? Not just scales, but phrasing. Remember, in guitar playing, anybody can just play a bunch of riffs. It's what you say and your vocabulary. So the cigar box guitar, whether you're playing slide or whether you're playing um, regular... Um, So if you're, you, you want to start learning about open tunings, let's say you want to play a, re a regular open G or an open C or an open D on a regular guitar, this is a great way to all of a sudden learn the first part. And like you're, you're commenting on my thumb, my thumb playing, all of a sudden when you only have three strings, it makes it a lot easier. When The guitar, okay, these are maple necks. Um, the, the wood is from Canada, uh, very good ma maple. Then you've got mahogany. The body is uh, made out of mahogany. Uh, the wood comes from Africa and also Indonesia. And then the parts are all uh, manufactured in Korea. So this is, uh, the guitar is all pretty much assembled in China. So it's got a lot of different uh, how would I say parts and uh, so it's a world guitar so you, it's it's outsourced again each one of these um, each one of the uh, there's there's 250 of each model of the of the different pictures this is uh, of the different designs and they all come with a um, uh, authentic what do you call this search it thank you so this one. The pickups are incredible. If you notice, I went from a humbucker to just a normal sound. So it's a two two position pickup. About the pickup a little bit here. Here it is, the Matchbook Lace pickup. This pickup's about three years old now. Um, I got involved with Lace mainly because of this pickup. Uh, Don Lace, the president of the company, was looking for somebody to um, uh, market the pickup, and it was just. It, I was really honored when when Lace called me because Lace makes Lace has been around since 1979. Uh, Lace makes the lace sensor pickups and that was very popular uh, fender guitars used about well let's see they had two they made two million fender uh guitars with the sensor pickups so that comes out to about six million because they had three pickups in each one so now remember i don't have any effects going on through here so this is all from the pickup and it's a great sounding pickup because you've got you've got the humbucker so the way they've got this you can you can wire it to two positions, so you can either um, do a toggle switch or a push-pull, like what they've got here. Yeah. 